Hello, are you an occupational therapy practitioner who have heard of the use of 3D printing technology in the healthcare industry and you say to yourself, what is 3D printing? Well, wonder no more. My name is Toi Adifioi. I am a doctor of occupational therapy student from the University of St. Augustine for Health Sciences. In this video, you will learn a brief history of 3D printing, a basic definition of 3D printing, the equipment needed for 3D printing, the components of a 3D printer, and the current use of 3D printing in healthcare. To give you a brief history of 3D printing, in 1859, Francois Willemy developed a 3D photosculpture technology that photographs objects from multiple angles. Fast forward to the early 1980s, Hideo Kodama created the first rapid prototyping system that uses a laser to coagulate light-sensitive liquid polymers to print 3D objects. Chuck Hall, in 1986, developed sterolithography 3D printing technology that uses digital data to produce 3D models. Please check out my video on types of 3D printers, where I discuss extensively on sterolithography and other 3D printing methods. So, what is 3D printing? 3D printing is an additive manufacturing technique that uses a digital model to convert consecutive thin layers of moldable materials to produce a solid 3D object. Now that you've learned about the definition of 3D printing, let's look into some of the processes involved in printing an object using a 3D printer. To print a 3D object, you need to either design the object or download an already designed object. You can do this on websites such as Thingiverse.com and Tinkercard.com. You will download your created file into a USB, SD card, or micro SD card, depending on the type of 3D printer you plan to use to print your object. After downloading the designed file, you need to convert the file to a file format that is readable by your 3D printer. You can convert the file using the file software converter, such as the Anyconv STL file converter. To download and convert the files, you need a strong internet connection. After converting the file, you will insert your USB SD card or micro SD card into the microprocessor unit on your 3D printer. Check out my video where I discuss how to design, download and convert 3D design files. Another crucial aspect of 3D printing is the printer materials used in printing objects. Before you can print, you need to purchase printer material. There are several types of 3D printers and the type of 3D printer you have will determine the kind of printer material you need to print your object. Examples of the most common printer materials are polylactic acid, known as the PLA filament, acrylonitrine butadiene styrene, known as ABS filament, polyethylene terephthalate glycol, known as PTG filament, resin, and polyamide 12 powder. After purchasing the printing material, you need to follow your 3D printer manufacturer's instructions on how to locate and insert the printing material into the 3D printer. Check out the video where I discuss types of printing materials, 3D printers, and their compatibility. Do you know that 3D printing is used in the healthcare industry. In fact, 
There has been an increase in use of 3D printing technology in the last two decades. During maxillofacial surgery, healthcare practitioners use 3D printing to fabricate contour models, middle ear ossicles, and guided splints. Surgeons use 3D printing to fabricate vertebral bodies that are used during spinal reconstruction surgeries. Doctors now perform mock surgeries on 3D printed client specific organs and pathologies. Medical schools use 3D printed cadavers to teach students about complex medical cases and procedures. In occupational therapy, therapists use 3D printed assistive devices to improve the grasp and dexterity of students with impaired fine motor control. They use 3D printed literacy aids to enhance the reading and writing skills of students with visual impairments. These examples show the endless opportunities and use of 3D printing in occupational therapy. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to check out my other videos on 3D printing.